Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking the EMF and the internal resistance of a battery are shown in the figure. If a current of 7.8 ampere is established through the battery from B to A, what is the terminal voltage VAB of the battery? Right? So if the current is going from B to A, there's going to be a voltage drop right here at 7 ohm, right? Let's calculate that voltage drop and then determine the VAB, right? So let's go ahead and find that one. So first, uh, we know that uh, V is equal to IR. So here they have provided current that's 7.8 ampere. And in this uh, 7 ohm, that's going to be multiplied by 7 ohm. And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 54 point six voltage right then to calculate VAB all we have to do is make bring that one VAB is going to be equal to 25 voltages minus this one 54.6 voltage and that's going to give us negative 29.6 volt and that's going to be the terminal VAB of the battery and that's how we do this. Let's look at the second question. The EMF and the internal resistance of a battery, if a current 8.3 ampere, ampere is drawn from the battery when the resistor R is connected across the terminal A 95 volt B 5 O of the battery, what is the power displayed by the resistor? Okay, so let's calculate the EMF first. So let's see, let's say this is our EMF. I give it this sign. EMF that's going to be equal to V minus IR. V is going to be this terminal voltage right here. That's 95 minus IR is going to be voltage due to this resistance. That's can, that can be calculated by multiplying it multiplying by this ampere. That's going to be 8.3 times 5, right? And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 53.5 volt now now we have calculated the EMF the question is asking for the power right we know that power is equal to V times I V is going to be this EMF EMF is, is a voltage right so here we plug this value that's going to be 53.5 volt times this I, I is current that's 8.3 ampere and if you multiply both of them, that's going to give you the power. And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 444.5 5, uh, volts per ampere or okay, volts, ampere same as coulomb per second. So volt coulomb per second or volt ampere and you can put a unit volt coulomb per second that looks good right and that's that's going to be the answer or, or you can say power is unit for power is watts right so 444 point watts and that's what provided so here the answer is going to be second one and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time